good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're watching from. I received a word from the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, yesterday, September 22nd, 2024, at approximately 8.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Lord does not want this to have a title. Uh, as always, test every spirit. Take it back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time or while you're meditating on his holy word like we're told to do day and night. And because Jesus is the word made flesh, he will speak to you there as well. I believe that Jesus is the son of God, the second person of the Godhead. I believe that he walked among us as a man in the flesh and that he sacrificed his life on a cross to atone for the sins of the world. I believe that he was buried in a rich man's grave or a tomb, whatever you want to say. I believe that after three days he rose from the dead and that he is seated at the right hand of the Father and that anyone who has been born again is now seated with him in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Seated with God. Imagine that. That being said, this is what the Lord said. My eyes are flowing with tears. How fast you have forgotten me. How quickly you have turned to the enticements of the world. Did I not say to store up your treasures in heaven? And yet you covet the things of another. Daydream of greater achievements and turn what I have called you to do into a com competition. You make evil assessments of one another and laugh at another's shortcomings and calamities. You mock the lost and point accusatory fingers at mine anointed because of your own preferences and opinions. What is happening to my church? Why are the sheep scattering? It is because the shepherds have thought themselves to be above reproach. They have esteemed themselves higher than they ought. They have ignored my counsel due to excessive pride, blaming others for the division and separation among the congregation, but never once considering their part. A man who refuses counsel is not wise. I resist the proud and exalt the humble. Now many I have exalted have fallen under a spell. Money has become their God. They worship possessions and have begun idolizing themselves. They refuse correction and shun advice from those they consider to be less educated, unknown, or beneath them. Can I not counsel you through whomever I choose? Shall you refuse me? Do I not chastise those I love? Do I not sound the alarm first, giving you a chance to repent and turn? Have I not been merciful? Have I not been generous? My generosity is not just so you can have all the things you want. You are to carry each other's burdens. Do not turn your brother away when you have it to give. Do not say be warm and filled, but not give them basic necessities. Have I not said that judgment is without mercy to the one that shows none? Where is your compassion? Why are you so focused on yourselves, so consumed with all the things you would like to have? Where is your gratitude? Why have you become so entitled? Is what I do for you not good enough that you always want more? What is all this complaining I hear? Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. In me you live and move and have your being. You need me for every breath. Are you now self-sufficient? Have you got it all figured out from here on? Have you no need of me? Why are you not seeking my counsel? Why are you not asking me what I want you to learn when trouble comes? Do I not give both blessings and calamity? Are both not equally fruitful? Have you not learned how to be content, whether you are base or abound? Whether you have plenty or lack, do I not send both to teach you to trust in me and me alone? Do I not send both? to strengthen your faith and show you I am more than able to do what you can't. I am deeply grieved at the state of my people. 
They are lost and without hope, and there are so many to lead them astray. They are wandering aimlessly with no one to comfort them. You must walk in the spirit. You must discern when to speak and when to remain silent. Chastisement is being distributed for your lack of discernment, for your self-righteous judgments, for your arrogant and haughty attitude towards those who are bound and blinded by the God of this world. Instead of offering the comfort, them comfort, sorry, you criticize them. You laugh at their condition. You mock them and belittle those made in my image while you tell them how much they are loved. Hypocrites, you are supposed to love in word and deed. You are supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. Without love, you are a clanging cymbal, a noisy gong. You were once lost and without hope. You were once veiled to the truth. You were once at enmity with me. Do they not deserve the same grace I have shown you? Do they not deserve compassion and understanding? Shout your offense in biting sarcasm, lead them into all truth. This is why your flesh must be crucified. I despise haughty eyes and lofty speech. I despise partiality. If anyone glories, if, sorry, if a man glories, let him glory not in himself, but let him glory in the one true living God who was and is and is to come. I received the following Bible confirmations shortly after. Genesis 37, 3 to 4. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Genesis 4, 4 to 7. Abel also brought of the firstborn and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. The Lord had me stop there. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 12. Now the sons of Eli were corrupt. They did not know the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 27. Then a man of God came to Eli and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Did I not clearly reveal myself to the house of your father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30. Therefore, the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed that your house and the house of your father would walk before me forever. But now, says the Lord says, far be it from me for those who honor me, I will honor and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Galatians chapter six, verse seven, you ran well, who hindered you from obeying the truth? Galatians chapter 6 verses 13 to 15 For you brethren have been called to liberty only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh but through love serve one another for all the, the law is fulfilled in one word even in this you shall love your neighbor as yourself but if you bite and devour one another Beware lest you be consumed by one another. Galatians chapter 6 verses 25 to 26. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another and being one another. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. I say then walk in the spirit 
and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 to 2. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called with all lowliness and gentleness with long suffering bearing with one another in love. The last confirmation was this 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. Therefore having these promises beloved let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God.